So hey guys, about um, the same time I pre-ordered everything from my retro gaming times, I ordered myself this Super Boy, which is a portable Super Nintendo, and I finally got it today. It's been a while now. I think I paid around eighty-six bucks uh, Canadian to get it, plus shipping and, and, and handling. Uh, it really appealed to me because there's a TV output to it, but you don't really want to do that. It makes an extra console. You can plug actual, real Super Nintendo controllers in it. And the part I like the most is this right here. It is compatible with all versions like Super NES and the Famicom. The uh, Japanese Super Nintendo Super NES games will work. So your actual library, your actual games, Super NES go in side that thing and it's a portal super nes made by hyperkin it wasn't uh officialized by nintendo but i heard only good things about it and i really wanted a super nes portable so we will do the unboxing together guys let's enjoy this too bad nintendo never officialized this but it's a great product i only heard good things about it so there's a sticker right here Got this open sticker here, seal of proof. It's brand new, out of the box. I hope I won't have any problems with the screen whatsoever. So let's open this. And there it is. Play like it's 1991. Super awesome. Portable SNES video game system console. It's awesome. They got a they got a pouch that comes with it, man. Wow, nice touch. Wow. And there it is. It's in that plastic. Whoa, I thought it was smaller than that. It's kind of bulky. It's big. Controls, they feel good. It is huge, man. I can't wait to turn it on. So, uh, DC in, oh, the battery needs a screwdriver to open this up. Too bad. DC in 5 volts. USB. The output, maybe I could plug a USB cord out of this. Let's try it. Let's try it. I got a free USB cable right here. It shows right there. This should work. Let's plug it in the PC. Let's try it. See if it works. But I gotta put a game in it first, right? But that's nice. It's a nice touch. You can put it in a USB. I love that. All right, what else is inside these, this box? Oh, look at that. Guess it's charging. Or maybe it already has batteries. It needs to charge. Got the volume up, down. I can't wait to make this thing work. Uh, oh yeah, look at that. There's already a power cord in here. I went too fast. Oh my gosh, there's a bunch of stuff. I skipped a bunch of steps. Not good. Not good. So yes, there is a power cord included in this. Quite awesome. There is the... Uh, Lithium battery to put in. So I only need a good screwdriver. I think I got one right here. That'll do the job. So let's redo all this and plug in that battery that they give you it. And that's a TV out. Nice. Okay, so let's open this up and put this battery they gave us. Hope the battery life on this last long. Open the lid, easy connection. You only have those three pin connectors right here. It's only one way to put the battery, honestly. You can't fail. Pretty easy, that's nice. They include the battery in here. So now it will keep the charge. But I wonder how long will it keep the charge though? And see now the LED is not freaking out anymore because it has 
an actual battery life in it. So uh, let's fire it up just for first off. Let's fire it up. Let's put a game. Let's put a game. Let's put a game we all know. Let's put Super Mario World in it. Uh, let's read the instructions just to make sure I put it. It's got to be this way, right? Let's open the lid and check. Yeah, it's got to be this way. Can't be any other way. Or is it? I think I got it. Power on. Here we go, baby. Oh, nice. Sound. What's that buzzing sound? It's got a buzzing sound to it. And the screen is kind of tilted. Let's remove. Should I remove the plastic film? Oh yeah, let's remove it. Not bad. I like it. Whoa, I'm sorry about that, guys. I wasn't looking at the camera. <laughs> oh, bad video. Bad video. But actually, very enjoying this. It plays super nice. The controls are good. The buttons are good. Yeah, I don't know about the screen. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see. It's kind of tilted on my end, but it's doing the job. The fact that you can carry around your Super NES and bring your games, like your actual games, and play them anywhere, really cool. So I'm gonna keep enjoying this console. Oh, just wait, just wait, just wait. Let's try something else. Let's try, let's try another game. Let's try something else. Oh, taking it out is not that easy. Is there an eject button on this? There's a reset. No eject button. Oh yes, there is. Oh, uh, what's that? I gotta read on before I bust it. Let's play one of my favorites. What's that thing? It is the... Is it the eject button? I don't know. I think I broke it. Oh, the game is locked in now. All right. There we go. Royal Rumble, and it works fine. Good job, nice port, I love this. So I'll keep and go and enjoying this game console. I'll see you soon, guys. Having a blast for sure. I'll keep on playing. And I'll let you know. Honestly, so far, really like it. Keep it Dutch.